After looking into Alberta's anti-rat policy, I realized that there's no way that Alberta is really rat free. I don't know where exactly I saw it first, but it kind of sparked an image in my head that Alberta was like this perfect place that had absolutely no rats whatsoever. But then I realized how big Alberta was and there's absolutely no way that they could have not a single rat in their entire province. And I'm sure people in Alberta take pride in not having any rats. They'll probably say something like, yo, we don't have any rats. And I'll say something like, yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, if Alberta was like an island or something, then, you know, it'd make a lot more sense. But since they're literally surrounded by land, most of which is prairies and grasslands, by the way, which is probably where a lot of rats live. And you mean to tell me that not a single rat lives in or even within close proximity to Alberta? Like, is there some some sort of like government satellite that Canada has that just shoots down rats like it just senses rats using like geothermal sensors and then just uses the Canada arm to fucking shoot them from space like is that how this shit works I mean there's probably a bunch of rats just living on the border of Alberta waiting to enter and make secret colonies and to remain hidden from the rat hating society that is Alberta but then I began to think why does Alberta hate rats so much I mean, sure, they might have messed up like their farms and crops and something way back in the 50s and whatnot. But now, I mean, we're in the 21st century. Like, I'm pretty sure rats are just doing their own thing. Why can't Alberta give rats a chance? I mean, maybe they changed. Maybe they're better people now. Maybe we just misjudge them or we assume for the worst. I mean, think about it. There's a lot of good rat people out there. We got Master Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those guys from Flushed Away. That teacher from Arthur. I think. Okay, I'm probably forgetting a lot more memorable rat-related characters in cinema and TV shows. But my point is, Alberta is a little too harsh on rats. Like, it's, it's kind of getting out of hand. Alberta has a $5,000 fine per rat. I mean, even if this thing is domesticated, it could just be like a harmless pet that you have in a cage or something. I know this goes for physical rats, like the species, but what about people who are considered rats? Like if 6 9 were to go to Alberta for like a concert or something, would we just slip in some rat poison? Or is that like illegal? Either way, I think Alberta's too harsh on their rat policy. And they just hate rats. And really the only good solution in my opinion is to just storm Alberta with rats. I say we just get all the rats from neighboring territories and just storm Alberta. Like we got New York with all these rats, we could just go to Alberta and they'll take over Alberta in like two days. And if Alberta wants their province back, they have to sign an ultimatum that provides freedom for all rats. I mean, I think that's the only possible solution. I feel we don't even need military force, we just need a lot of rats. It would kind of be like how Australia lost a war to emus, but in this case it would be Alberta losing a war to rats. Plus the global rat population is 7 billion, which is nearly one rat for every person. If we look at the population of Alberta, it's substantially less than all the rats on earth. So all I'm saying is, if the rats wanted to take over Alberta, they could. And that's just about all I wanted to say. Hopefully in the future Alberta will remove their rat policy and treat them with more fairness and equality. Otherwise we start a provincial rat war. Please free the rats.